For the given incident ray as shown in figure, the condition of total internal reflection of this ray, the required refractive index of the prism will be. So as per the given question, a ray is incident from rarer to denser because it is bending towards the normal. So angle of incidence is 45 and an angle of refraction is R. Now let us assume that the ray makes angle here IC with the normal to this surface. As it is passing from denser to rarer and it, satisfy, and it satisfies the condition of total internal reflection, it will reflect back. Okay. Now if we uh, see this surface A and if we apply Snell's law at surface A, then we know that for Snell's law N is equals to sin I by sin R, that is sin 45 by sin R. Now sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and r now if we see this triangle okay if this angle is r and this angle is ic and this angle is 90 degree okay then we can write it like this i plus r is equals to 90 degree ic plus r is equals to 90 degree then r is equals to 90 minus ic right so same thing i have put here sine 90 minus ic now sine 90 minus theta is cos theta so we can rewrite this as n or refractive index is equals to 1 by root 2 Right? And here it is instead of sin 90 minus IC, I have written cos IC. If you make cos IC as a subject, then cos IC is equals to 1 by root 2 into N or eta. Now, the total internal reflection is taking place at surface B. So for surface B, sin IC, the condition for the total internal reflection is sin IC is equals to 1 by eta. Right? This is the condition. Okay, now from trigonometric identity is what we know sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. Now sine square theta that is sine square ic is equals to 1 by eta. So it is 1 by eta square because we are squaring on both the side. And cos theta and cos square ic. So here we have cos theta that is cos ic. If you square here then cos square ic. So cos square so it is 1 by 2n square is equals to 1. Now we are taking 1 by n square common in both the term. So here it will become 1 by n square. So if we take common here, here 1 is remaining plus here 1 by 2 is remaining. So 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. So 1 by n square 3 by 2 equals to 1. So here n square or eta square is equals to 3 by 2. Therefore eta is equals to root 3 by 2. That is the refractive index should be under root 3 by 2. Option C is correct.